Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.17.3 now this week's update, at least in regards to this video, doesn't actually contain all that much stuff. I mean there's one major thing and I'll get into that in a little bit, uh, but mostly this week's update added Halloween themed things like new curated workshop items and a whole lot of them. And unfortunately the stockpile isn't working right now so I can't really show you guys that but I will put it if I can uh, right now on the screen some of these new items if I do get that to work. There's also the Halloween gift presents that are now being dropped between now and Halloween. And if you are playing at any time between now and then, you are almost guaranteed to get dropped one of these because it does have a 100% drop chance. And then also, one of the most notable in-game changes is that the Liberator has now supposedly been decorated all Halloween-like in celebration of Halloween. And I've now noticed this now. We've got some ca <laughs> some candles now and some, cup some pumpkins around here. This is actually really, really cool. Is, uh, oh, it's a coffin. Oh man, this is so cool. I've never actually been here yet. I've just now driven here. Super cool. I wonder if people are wearing um, costumes now. <laughs> yeah, he's got a jack-o'-lantern on his head here. <laughs> we got a mummy and a vampire. Oh, that's hilarious. What's up here? A witch? <laughs> So I'm assuming all the people that actually offer quests, those guys offer quests, so they, uh, they're they all dressed up. I'm assuming Natalie down here will also be dressed up. Yep, she's wearing... Oh, she's like a Frankenstein. Oh, nice. <laughs> what about the chef over here? Oh, yeah, the uh, this is the scientist. What is he dressed up as? I'm so sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, we got the astronaut chef. Nice. Antlers on uh, Rusty's head. I like this. This is super cool. Anyway, Halloween themed Liberator. Be sure to check it out while you still can. I'm sure this will last up until Halloween later this week. Also, comment down below what you guys are being for Halloween. I'm going to be a teenage gamer in a basement drinking Mountain Dew. I'm, I'm usually pretty good at playing that, uh, that costume. I do it every year. Now, also, Halloween gift presents drop from now until Halloween. And you get a drop every 24 hours. And if you've already gotten a Halloween gift present drop, I don't think you can be dropped another one, but if you've been dropped like a skin late last night and you're trying to get dropped one now, make sure you're waiting 24 hours because you get a drop every 24 hours. Uh, so make sure you're playing just kind of every once in a while and you will eventually get a Halloween gift present. What's super awesome about these is that they don't require a key to open. As you can see, you just have an unwrap option. So once you drop it, it's yours to keep. You can have it forever or you can open it instantly. Now, by definition, this is the same Halloween gift present as the ones that were dropped last year. Uh, so if you've been keeping a Halloween gift present since last year, you're out of luck. It's now dropped significantly in value from like $3.50 down to like 50 cents because they're dropping again. This is going to be an annual thing. Uh, but what's nice about this week's update is that it actually added more to the Halloween gift present here. So as you can see, we now have a vampire cowl, a bolt, mad scientist goggles. Oh, that must be what he was, a mad scientist. Oh, you know what? That makes sense now. It took me a little while. But anyway, as you can see, there are a whole lot of items that were added this week. Now, I've purchased 10 of them, and then actually right when I got into the game, I was dropped an 11th one. So I, now I have 11 gift presents, and I'm going to open up a few of them here today. I'm also going to keep a few um, and maybe open them up in a stream later today. Um, I would appreciate getting some new items. We might be getting a, a vampire top here, a mad scientist top. Nice. All, anything that's new for... Oh, no. It tricked me. I thought it was a now, by the way, when you get an insanely rare haunted item, you get one effect on it. And it's an effect that has skulls going around your head. It's very cool looking, uh, but basically you can only get it on either the jack-o'-lantern or the mummy hat. So if you get an insanely rare, it's going to be skulls, uh, but you have a 50-50 chance of getting it on this jack-o'-lantern or the mummy hat. Um, I would much rather prefer it on the jack-o'-lantern, and I actually got it uh last year so as you can see here it's got skulls going around it this is what i got last year it's super super cool um and so it's like a nice halloween themed thing that you can keep for yourself for the rest of the year and i've had that for a year um so hopefully you guys are able to get one of those as well it's very very cool you can also get it on the mummy mask once again but i think the jack lantern is a lot more Halloween universal, you know that you know, everybody thinks of jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween So that's why I uh, ended up getting that jack-o'-lantern there um, I don't think I've gotten oh well now we got the vampire top. I'll take a vampire top nice All right now. I just need to finish the set, but that's looking pretty cool mad scientist top perhaps 
I think we got it. I'll take a mad scientist top. Looking good, looking good. I'd also like to finish that one. Get a full set of mad scientists and a full set of vampire. I think that'd be pretty cool. Another vampire top. God dang it. All right. Last box here. Hopefully we can get something new, though. Uh, the ratio of new to old items in this box is favoring old items, unfortunately. And it does seem... Like we have gotten another duplicate here. That is the Halloween gift present. Once again, free to open. Everyone who plays between now and Halloween will get one. Just remember, a drop every 24 hours is how the system works. Now, on to the major thing. Now, you guys have been commenting a ton about this new achievement that was added like two or three days ago called Mark II. It just said MK period space 2. Now, there have been a whole lot of rumors going around. I think one thing that was the most popular rumor is that it was going to be a new Easter egg similar to the Soul Crystal achievement except this time related to aliens because you look at the picture it's got stars and aliens now unfortunately because this is kind of a secret easter egg thing that requires you know people to find clues and post information about it and nobody really knows anything about it right now because the update came out like 15 minutes ago I can't really show you anything about this easter egg, but it is very, very big. He says it's the most exciting bit of the update. He says there's a new secret achievement to solve much more complex than the first, the Soul Crystal one. And he says, in his opinion, it's a lot fairer because it doesn't have any weird local chat puzzle. And he's also going to give no hints this time at all. So we're going to have to solve this on our own. I'm going to try and solve it on my Twitch stream. I'm going to try and solve it live with you guys on the Twitch stream. And I'm going to be live right now, probably by the time you're watching this. And if you guys would like to solve this new Mark II achievement with me live on stream, be sure to visit that Twitch stream in the description down below. Uh, but other than that, that was really everything that was added in on turn 3.17.3.0. Once again, this Mark II achievement is the major thing, uh, but we don't know much about that. I will post a video in the future once we, together, figure out how to complete this achievement. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to us because you my big boy. It's out.